while ago I received an email from a gentleman named Oliver and Oliver said I would like to send you a gift. I said okay, by all means. So I was sent this gift. He said it's a nice gift. I said I, I look forward to it. And I got at some point this box which I'm sure you can tell, this is a large box. And it was fairly heavy. Now, I know that Olifer works for Tintenprobe, which means something like ink samples, so I thought, this is a box of ink samples. How attentive, that's kind. But then in there, in the box, was something else. And I'm, I'm taking my time to reveal this one, because this is something truly special. So, in there was this letter, which I love. It, it looks very typewriter-esque, which I thought was cute. Now I'm going to read you this entire letter because I think it is a very kind letter and it will give you more appreciation of what I'm about to show you. It's uh, dated October 16th from Bremerhaven, this is 2020. Dear Stephen, finally I was able to send the package. It includes a copy of a book that was written using a real fountain pen and real fountain pen inks. I hope you enjoy it. It is copy number two. At the moment only 15 of these books do exist. We plan on producing a thousand of them, but then came Corona and now we wouldn't have the chance to send any copies to the US, which would probably have been the biggest market. We still do have around 80 pieces lying around ready to get finished someday. So it might turn out that there will be 90 to 95 copies one day in the future. Most likely not more than that, since a series of 1,000 would need more investment, which we don't have the money for. I wanted to give you number two. Number one, I keep for myself, because I found your videos on YouTube so useful and inspiring back in 2013, 2014, when I started to get into writing with fountain pens. In 2014, my wife and I started Tintenprobe.de. I'll make sure to link to it an online shop for fountain pen ink samples. Back then, you and Brian Goulet were the sources of my daily growing fountain pen wisdom. I'm very thankful for all the time, work and dedication you put into your videos and your great sense of humor. Best wishes from Germany. Stay safe and healthy. Oliver. Now, I am not going to show you the book just yet. I want to do this full justice, so I'm going to tilt the camera down and then I will show you the great book. Okay, so what is this fancy book that we are talking about? It's the Ink Guru's Book of Fountain Pen Inks. And it looks like this. Now, if you're a book lover, which I am, uh, this is already very satisfying. Some really nice gilding. It's a sort of a fake leather cover. It feels very pleasant to the touch. It has a very, very nice spine. And then we have beautiful gilded pages. Now if we open this up, there's also two bookmarks. Oh, sorry, there's two bookmarks. If we open this up. This is very nice and textured. We have a serial number. This is volume one, very ambitious. And then we just get into a table of contents. So here we have the Iro Shizuku inks used the Pelican Edelstein inks used, the Pelican 4001 inks used, Graf von Faber-Castell, Sailor Gentle, Aurora und Klingner, Visconti, Montegrappa, Montblanc, Lamy, I'm just, I, I'm obviously not going to read you all of this, I just wanted, want you to know which brands of ink are represented in this, Monteverde Gemstone, Gerbin, and then we get into it. So, every ink, every page has handwritten in that ink with a labeling of what ink it is. This is Yoshizuku Ajisai. And then we just get into Shakespeare. From fairest creatures we desire increase that thereby beauty's rose might never die, but as the riper should by time decease, his tender air might bear his memory. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Ever and ever, forever and ever, ink after ink after ink. And sometimes it's two lines, and sometimes it's four lines, and sometimes, I mean, that's kind of how a sonnet works, right? If you're talking about Shakespearean things. 
four 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 two four 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 two four 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 two and we just go through all these sonnets which I think is magnificent to begin with but I don't even know where to start let me just pick something that shows up well on the yeah, this purple I think is gonna do it Montegrappa violet the handwriting is meticulous and I'm pretty envious of that to begin with but beyond that it's good paper and you just get an actual sense of every single ink and this is volume one which suggests to me that they were planning more volumes which is very exciting but this really gives you a feeling of what all these inks look like again on decent paper you can see there's no bleed through it's it's good paper I, I, there isn't a whole lot more to show you I'm only going to show you every single page because we'll be here all day but in all 189 pages I think it's just, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm incredibly honored that I was sent uh, number two of these books, but it's beautiful. But I think that it should go without saying that this is a labor of love on a monastic scale, quite literally so. This is a manuscript. And I, 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 I don't know what else to tell you, except that I'm incredibly honored to, that I've been sent this. I hope this project will take off well, so I will link to the website, uh, which I actually believe to be in German, but I'll, I'll, I'll see if there's an English version. Um, the there are th As I'm recording this, this is uh, about mid-December 2020, there are three of these books in stock for 114 euros. Uh, I know that's not cheap, but given that this is a handwritten book, I when I saw that price I was astonished I was expecting a lot more can you imagine the hours and hours and hours of work that go into making one of these I think that's a very fair price now they expect but they don't guarantee they expect to have more books available mid 2021 at a price of 139 euros they also indicate on their website and I think that's very fair that they prefer pen lovers as buyers as opposed to people who will buy 10 of these put them on eBay later for a thousand dollars a piece they don't put it in those words but I'm just um, freely interpreting their statement which I couldn't agree with more I think this is absolutely magnificent and I am again beyond honored to have been been sent this and gifted this so wonderful beautiful absolutely stunning that's all I'll say about it I think it is fantastic. There's a link in the description if you want one or want to reach out to Oliver. That's it. Oliver, thank you so much. I, uh, I, I completely appreciate all the work that has gone into this and I am beyond honored. I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later. Shall I leave through it once more? And look at the handwriting. Got Tim Himmel!